I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Two of Pentacles, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, this Two of Pentacles, it can be about two main issues at front in your mind. But when you get the Two of Pentacles, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. And I say this because multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So, you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. So, what this is telling me, Virgo, is that you could have been dealing with someone whereas you needed to be flexible or you felt like you... you Need you try to be fair. I'm going to say try to be flexible because this person was someone that you felt like you wanted something serious with. You could have been wanting the relationship to turn into commitment, marriage, childbirth, living together. Because this is what the Ten of Cups is about. The card that's below the word pass. So, for some of you, you wanted the connection to go to the next level. But with the Two of Pentacles here, the connection is, is telling me that there were a lot of ups and downs. Yeah, a whole lot of ups and downs. And you tried to be flexible. Because th you saw this person as someone that you wanted a relationship with. You could have felt like this person was your everything. Ten of Cups is everything. For some of you Virgos, you could have been dealing with a Taurus. Your same sign of Virgo. And for some of you, you were dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, but... The connection was up and down, up and a lot of ups and downs. Back and forth for some of you, you and your person were long distance. So let's move on over and let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the strength card and it's with seven of wands. Now, the strength card is... It's a beautiful card in the tarot. Yeah, it's about self-love, self-respect, being the best you can be. Yeah, it's with this Seven of Wands, the card that's below the word present. The seven of Wands can be about wanting to win, just wanting to be the last man standing. Wanting to come out on top. So, you coming up, you could be feeling like you're going back and forth with your feelings for this person or the connection. You realize that it's time for you to, to focus on you and be a stronger person. And maybe practice self-love, self-respect. Become empowered become stronger, but then you go back to putting all your energy and focus on the connection, trying to figure out how you can win and be the last man or woman standing in this connection with this person. And then you go back to realizing, oh, I just need to focus on myself because the connection has a lot of ups and downs. For some of you with this Two of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with somebody that juggles. If they're not long distance, 
But you could be dealing with someone who juggles between you and someone else. So yeah, coming up, I'm just getting you gotta be going back and forth. Just wanting to just focus on you and becoming empowered and being the best you can be. And then you go back to just being really focused on the connection. Trying to win this person or trying to be the last person standing. So, that's what's coming up. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So, we got the world card. And we have this king of swords. So, what this is telling me is that you could be starting to feel like you're just fed up. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, your person is a juggler. They go between you and someone else, and you're tired of being stuck in your head, feeling like you, you just want to focus on you, and then you go back to just putting too much emotional energy into trying to... trying to maybe get this person attention or trying to um, trying to fight for this connection you just go back and forth you're tired you're tired of um, the ups and downs of dealing with this person yeah at one point you wanted the end all be all with this person but with the world card you could be feeling like it's time to close this chapter. The world card can be about getting closure, ending a cycle, closing the book on a chapter. Yeah, I'm just getting for a lot of you, you feel like it's time to move towards your destiny and you're fed up. The King of Swords can be about being fed up. You're ready to detach. And you might, for some of you, you might feel like letting your person know what you really think of them. Yeah, you're just fed up by now. And you just feel like detaching from this and just closing out, closing out a chapter with this person. So, We'll move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Queen of Pentacles and it's, it's with Temperance. So, Queen of Pentacles can be about taking comfort and joy in the ordinary things. Queen of Pentacles is a card above the word outcome. She's just sitting in her backyard. She's in her lounge chair. She's got her dog keeping her feet warm. She's feeding the birds and the squirrels that come by. And she's just taking comfort and joy of just the plain and simple things. So that could be how you're feeling or what you're just feeling like doing. Just, just chilling. Because like I said, Two of Pentacles, it, it can be a lot of You've been dealing with a lot of ups and downs with this person. Uh, ups and downs. And then it makes you go back and forth between trying to fight for this and then just realizing that you need to let it go. And then you go back to wanting to fight and then you go back to realizing that you shouldn't. It's time to close out a cycle. So... By you falling back, it's showing that it's going to bring balance, a peace of mind to all this crazy energy that's been going on in your head about this person, about the connection. So yeah, temperance is here. It's about peace of mind, letting go of any grief of the past. So, you fall back, you just take comfort, yeah, enjoy and order in the ordinary things, and 
It's saying that it's going to bring balance and it'll bring you a peace of mind. So that is the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning they could be you or you could be them. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.